kids! Click here to subscribe! Happy to announce we have a new student in the class. May I introduce to you Shelly? I don't see her. Maybe she's a ghost. <laughs> Here I am. <sighs> Shelly, come join me. How about all day? <laughs> you. What? Hello, everyone. I'm so excited to be part of the class. We're happy to have you and welcome. Now, if you'll take a seat at your desk, we can begin today's lesson. <laughs> okay, now that Shelley is at her desk, we can begin today's lesson. Oh, there's the bell. Wow, the school day's over already? Yeah, thanks to the new slowpoke, we may never have to study again, ever. Just a reminder, this year's annual football game is in two days. Max and Johnny are captains, so you need to pick your teams today. I pick Foxy. I pick Abby. I pick Butch. <laughs> I pick Liz. I choose Ethan. Team gets the ball first. Ready, set, high. Mm -hmm. You got my back, right? Mm -hmm. Now we get ready to catch the ball. <laughs> Zoe, help me. This is going to be the easiest victory ever! Much of a teammate. 
I know where to go to score and how to stop them. I'm just not fast enough. the embarrassment. Hi! There's no one left on Johnny's team to catch the ball! Rumbles. That's how your tummy talks. It's then I'm hungry. Wait here. I'll be right back. Try some. It's sugar free cereal. It's so yummy.
started my salad. I haven't even picked up my fork yet. This is one of my favorite oh. books that my parents used to read to me. <laughs> it's called The Adventures of George. It's about a bunny that goes on a long adventure to find the place where his heart belongs. A place to call home. <gasps> Once upon a time... Uh. And that made his heart smile. Abby, <sighs> bedtime. I have to go. Adorable, I miss him already. It's okay though, I'll see him first thing in the morning. Stay with us. He'll be part of our home, and more importantly, part of our family. Of course, if he's going to be part of the family, he's going to need a name. I know. How about George? Like the bunny in my favorite book. Hmm. Welcome to the family, George. <laughs> <laughs> Carefully, class. Abby's mom is going to explain where we're going on our field trip today. Abdul will be flying us to the old world. Many years ago, it disappeared below the water because the humans who lived there got very careless. That's what caused the mobile storming. Actually, it's called global warming. It's called that because the pollution warmed up the Earth so much that it melted all the ice and flooded the whole planet. That's right, Abby. We're about to land. Secure all your important items under the sea. Water. Oh, 
water's safe for them? It is now, Johnny. With no more waste being dumped into the ocean, the Earth is able to heal itself. The sea life is strong and healthy. I heard the dolphins are super smart. Yes, they are very intelligent. Can they ride a bike? No, I don't think so, Max. Then they can't be that smart. Baby whale? It's just a big fish. Actually, whales are mammals. They breathe air like you and me. You should come say hello to him. Hi. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That's how the whale says hello. Doing? Saying hi back to the whale. Showering <laughs> <laughs> us with love. He sure is having a whale of a time. <laughs> I guess I was the only one smart enough not to get wet. But you didn't get to say hi to the whale. I can say hi and stay dry. Hello, whale. put our thinking caps on. I think I left mine at home. No, my mom means we have to think and come up with a solution. When I got my head stuck in the fence, my mom used soap. I have some in the back of the ship. So I don't have to take a bath tonight. Uh, maybe if we tickle him, it will help him break free. According to my calculations, the whale is too heavy for us to pull. What if we tied the rope to the ship and pulled him? That's a great idea, but it would take all the energy we have left to fly home. So the baby whale's stuck there forever? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mom? Professor Kobe? You've always taught me that we have to take a different path than the humans. A path of kindness, no matter what it takes. Abby's right. I know we may not make it home, but what's the point of going back if we can't be kind? <laughs>
we're going to be living in the sea now, I better start practicing my swimming. Looks like he's taking us somewhere. I believe he's brought us back to the refueling station as thanks. <laughs> for a wonderful day. I learned so much. No, Abby, it's we who learn from you. Right? Yes, but I can dream. Ugh. Hi, Bono. <laughs> Hi, kids. It's gonna be a busy Saturday. Thanks for helping me out. We love helping you, especially because you pay in all you can eat cupcakes. I don't know, Bono. With Johnny's appetite, he may just put you out of business. <laughs> 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 Who's ready to make the bestest cupcakes ever? Oh, Me. yeah! Need more cupcakes for tomorrow. A lot more. I don't know how many more we can make. Don't worry. I ordered a new machine that's gonna speed things up. You'll see. So, it's called the Cupcake Maker 2000. <laughs> All you have to do is add the ingredients and the machine will do the rest. Like it's going to blow up! Whoa! <laughs> 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 
This is fantastic. We're gonna sell a lot of cupcakes today. Huh? Yummy. <laughs> Ooh. Cupcake maker is polluting the air. Oh. People love your cupcakes because they're so colorful. It brightens up their day. But with a yucky smoke cloud hanging over your store, life doesn't seem as colorful. Hmm. I think you're right, Abby. Let's turn off the new machine and go back to making cupcakes the way we used to. Hmm. Here you go. More special, colorful packaging. I think I have the perfect idea. Uh, you get a rainbow flavor in every box. Ooh, I love what you've done with the packaging, guys. I'm so glad we went back to the simpler way of making cupcakes. I think we're brightening everyone's day. Me too. And it's more fun to make than the old way. Yeah, and everybody knows cupcakes made with fun just taste better. <laughs> <laughs> George? George? your kite? Yeah, sure am. Hey, where's Johnny? Uh, hi, Abby. I had a little trouble with my kite. <laughs> <laughs> Run fast and throw the kite up. Is trying to take the kite. Uh, hold on tight. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh. Johnny, come on. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
I can't see! <laughs> because your face is covered with ice cream. No way to get up there. Hmm. I have a way. So close, almost there. A, a little more to the right. To, to the left. That's it. Throw it harder. Don't got it. We have to use our heads and think. My head's too sore to think. I've got an idea. It's okay, Johnny. <gasps> we still have a kite that works. You know, Liz, sometimes the answer to the problem is right in front of us. <laughs> yeah, we just have to look. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Johnny is the bestest kite ever. What? Hmm. 
<gasps> it's Mayor Bumble. He looks a lot different on TV. <laughs> That's not the mayor. Huh? Mayor Bumble, what's going on? <laughs> We're building a new park for the citizens of Wind Island. Uh, show them the plans. <laughs> Jungle gym, swings, slides, a zip line. This park has everything. It seems like something's missing. Like what? Uh, I'm not sure. We start building the new park tomorrow. Hmm. It looks like it has just about everything you could want. Yes, everything except for trees. You know, huh? you're right. Hmm. Maybe the park isn't a good idea. Or maybe there's a way to have the park and the trees? <laughs> hmm? We have to keep the trees, George. They turn pretty colors in the fall. And they give us shade in the summer. But most of all, the trees are where the birds live. That's their home. trees. Oh! I, I think I have a way where we can have the park and the trees. Huh? Oh. I know, trees don't have doors and windows. But for the birds, that's their home. The forest is their neighborhood. So you're saying we should have a forest park? Mm-hmm. Yes. Spectacular idea, but I don't know if I have enough workers to get the job done. No problem, Mayor. Me and my friends can help. Right, guys? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Huh? <laughs> 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 
George, it's time for the super jump. I guess that's why Mom tells me not to jump on the bed. Mom, Dad. What is it, Abby? I broke George's house. Can I have the money to buy a new one for him? I feel awful. Of course we can give you the money. But what would be more fun is if you learn to earn. George? <laughs> I'm actually earning my own money. <laughs> and the more I work, the more I can earn and save. And once we fill up the piggy bank, we can go to the pet store and get you a new house. <laughs> uh, uh, George? Oh, where did you go? <laughs> We raked up all the leaves. Good <laughs> job, Abby. Here you go. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe after we get paid from doing the dishes, we'll have enough money to buy your new house. <laughs> George, this is no time for a bath. Hmm. You're a good little worker, Abby. <laughs> Still not enough money to buy you a new house. Hmm. Hey, don't worry, George. I know how we can make more money. right amount of money. Let's go to the pet store. Oh, just look at it, George. It's the bestest little pet house ever. 
<laughs> Daddy, I'm really hungry. Can we get some bread? I'm hungry too, honey, but we just don't have enough money for fancy bread like that. I know we both worked really hard to make this mini, and I know a new pet house would make you really happy, but true happiness comes from being kind and helping others. Here, so you can buy the bread. That's very thoughtful of you, but that's your money. It is, but I think you need it more right now than I do. <laughs> Sorry I can't get you a new house, George. <laughs> Abby, there's someone here to see you. <gasps> oh, hello. What are you doing here? Well, my dad is a carpenter. And you <laughs> inspired me with your kindness. Huh? <sighs> oh. I know it's not quite the one you wanted from the pet store, but we wanted you to have this. <laughs> no, this one is much better. That's because it was made with love. <laughs> Look at it, George. Oh. Now that's the bestest mm. penthouse ever. <laughs> Hi, Abby. Hi, Liz. What's going on? We're headed over to Bunny Village. They're having a fundraiser for kids with special needs. What kind of fundraiser? It's a bicycle ride. Everyone we know is doing it. You <laughs> should join us. <laughs> oh, I don't think I can. My feet are really sore. I can barely walk. You're walking just fine. <sighs> <sighs> Just kidding. Actually, I can't go because I have so much homework to do today. But it's Easter holiday, the bestest bunny holiday of them all. Professor Kobe didn't give out any homework. Mm -mm. I have to take out the trash. <laughs> it's going to rain? Mm. <sighs> I have to feed my pet rock. <laughs> oh, my mom is calling me. <laughs> Coming, mom. Okay, that was super weird. Uh, something's not right with Johnny. Yeah, I think he needs our help. Johnny, what's going on? Okay, okay. Th the truth is, I don't know how to ride a bicycle. <gasps> That's okay, Johnny. We didn't know how to ride a bike until someone taught us. Hey, we could teach you, Johnny. We'll call it Liz and Abby's Super Speedy Bunny Bicycle Training Course. <laughs> We have to go over our checklist. Knee pads, check. Helmet, check. Mm -hmm. Positive attitude, check. Okay, Johnny, when we let go, you start pedaling. <sighs> I can do this. <laughs> I'm doing it. This is 
isn't as hard as I thought it would be. Hey! <laughs> to release the gift stand. Save George, Johnny. My mom always says if you want to move forward, you must have courage. You showed that today. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to go to the fundraiser? I'll lead the way. Johnny, wait up! <laughs> <laughs> doing with all this junk? I'll bet she's working on one of her strange inventions again. <laughs> Abby, what are you up to this time? Let me show you. Want to help me build a go-kart? Yeah! <laughs> Johnny, can you open this tube of oil for me? I think it's stuck. Keep trying. <laughs> Try twisting the cap. I don't think it'll work. <laughs> Yay, it's done! <laughs> sure, Liz. But first, we gotta wear our helmets and knee pads. My mom always teaches me to protect myself when I'm playing outside. Better to be safe than sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's ride! Oh, this is the best go kart ever! <laughs> Wow. Cool. Oh. <laughs> 
hide. One, two, three! Ah! <laughs> oh no! Uh, oh. I love the roads on the weekend. No traffic, so peaceful. Nobby, hit the brake! <laughs> Not good. Oh, what do you know? I'm home. <laughs> Let's do it again. <laughs> what? You said better to be safe than sorry. Hard time waiting. of weather for a hike up to the top of Wind Island. <laughs> we could see the whole island from 
from up here. That's not all we can see. is all slippery. Uh, I'm okay. That's because you landed on me. Oh, too much rain today. I give up. I'm going home. George, I really don't like the rain. I wish it would stop and never come back again. George, maybe my wish came true. It may never rain again. <laughs> Isn't this great? It hasn't <laughs> rained for two whole months. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't understand. Where did all the water go? My grandma says the river is drying up because there's no rain. Uh, oh, uh, I'm really tired. Maybe we could take the bus home. <sighs> Sorry. Kids, no bus rides today. Water is my fuel, and there's not enough to go around. <sighs> Mom, the flowers look so droopy. I know. They're not getting enough water. Are they going to die? I don't know, honey. What's going on? It's George, honey. He's swelling up. Why? What happened? Too much sun. I'm afraid George won't be able to go outside and play with you. Wow. George can't go out with me. Liz and Johnny are too tired to play. The river's drying up and the flowers are dying. It just goes to show you how important the rain is. We all love sunny days, but too much sun is not good. I guess I shouldn't have wished for no more rain, George. Now I understand. Some days we need rain, and some days we need sun. And no matter what kind of day it is, we can always find a way to have fun. Ha <laughs> ha! 